Dry January doesn't have to be about punishing yourself or becoming a teetotaler forever. It's about taking a conscious break from alcohol for a month, a chance to reset your body and your mind. In this video, I want to take a closer look at the clinical evidence that shows what happens when you take a short break from alcohol. So let's get started. Number one is brain power boost. A study in the British Medical Journal found that after just one month of no alcohol, brain volume actually increased compared to those who kept drinking. Your brain actually increases in size. But why is this? One of the reasons is reduced neuroinflammation. So chronic alcohol consumption can trigger neuroinflammation, a state of low-grade inflammation in the brain. Abstinence can allow this inflammation to subside, potentially leading to a slight increase in brain volume as brain tissue recovers. Another reason is neurogenesis. So some studies suggest that moderate alcohol consumption might suppress neurogenesis, the process of generating new brain cells. Stopping alcohol intake could allow this process to resume, contributing to a small increase in brain volume over time. Another factor is reduced brain cell shrinkage. So alcohol can lead to dehydration and shrinkage of brain cells. Abstaining for a month could allow these cells to rehydrate and return to their normal size, leading to a subtle increase in brain volume. Changes in white matter structure also have an impact. So white matter responsible for communication between brain regions can be affected by alcohol. When abstinent, changes in myelin, the fatty sheath surrounding nerve fibers in white matter, might contribute to slightly increased brain volume. And finally, improved hydration. So alcohol acts as a diuretic leading to dehydration. Dry January participants often drink more water and other fluids, which can help hydrate brain cells and potentially contribute to a small increase in volume. So onto other benefits beyond the brain, another benefit can be seen in sleep. We all know that alcohol and sleep don't exactly play nice, but ditch the drinks and a study in alcoholism, clinical and experimental research showed that a whopping 88% of dry January participants reported deeper, more restful sleep. To be expected, the liver also gets a good rest. So think of your liver as the body's built-in detox machine, but alcohol throws it into a bit of a frenzy. A study in the Journal of Hepatology found that just 28 days of alcohol free can reduce liver fat by a staggering 40%. And another more visible benefit is belly fat reduction. So those stubborn extra pounds, especially around the midsection, often have a boozy best friend. A University College London study revealed that dry January participants shed an average of four pounds and shrunk their waistlines. Dry January isn't just about physical perks, so it's about mental clarity, increased energy, and a chance to rediscover your well-being without the influence of alcohol. It's about resetting your relationship with alcohol and seeing how you feel and function without it. You might be surprised at what you find. So if you're taking part in Dry January, know that you're doing your body a whole world of good and you might just unlock a healthier, happier, and more energized you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness content.